Hello guys and welcome to the Simply Code programming channel. This is Vikesh and let's get started with today's topic which is about installing Java. We will basically look at how we can install Java on a Windows machine. So the first step to install Java is to download it from the official Oracle website. So for that let's open a web browser and let's type JDK Java download and hit enter then you need to find the link which says oracle.com because like we discussed in the previous lecture uh, java is owned by oracle so we need to download it from the official website only so we can click on this link which says java se downloads it will bring us to the downloads page and we will see different versions of java you can see the java se 15 you can see java se 14 you can also see java se 11 and all the previous versions Another thing which you will notice that it says LTS here, which means long term support. Basically, long term support are the releases for which Oracle is going to provide uh, long term security patches and updates. For the non LTS releases, Java will not provide long term support and long term patch fixes and long term security fixes. So it's a good idea to analyze and evaluate on which version you want to develop your applications on. For this demo, I think it is fine. We can go with the non LTS version and even for your uh, for your customer facing applications, you can start with the non LTS version and then upgrade to the latest LTS version whenever that is available. So for this demo, we can download Java SE 15 and you can also do the same on your machine. It will work exactly the same way as an LTS works. So you can click on the JDK download option here. Let's click on that. It is going to bring up the downloads detail page and you can see uh, there are multiple options given here uh, in terms of what platform you want to install Java on whether it is a Linux platform or it is a Mac OS machine or it is a Windows platform. So like I said in the beginning of the demo that today we are going to see how we can install this on a Windows machine. So I'm going to download the Windows X64 installer here. If you are working on a Linux machine or a Mac OS machine, you can download those respective installers as well. So you can see the exe here. So let's click on this. Once we click on this, we'll get this pop up, which will ask us to accept the Oracle technology network license agreement. So we can hit this checkbox and click on download JDK 15 and this shall start the download and you will see some some exe getting downloaded in uh, in your download box here. But as the download is going to take some time and uh, I'm not going to wait for that. And that's the reason I have already downloaded the JDK 15 for this particular demo. And that JDK is, is sitting here on my desktop, which I've downloaded pre prior to this demo. So we'll just run this particular exe, which is exactly the same exe as the one which is being downloaded. So let us double click on this. It will ask you for this pop up in some cases. So you can just hit yes. Basically, it is asking whether you trust this exe or not. But as we downloaded this from official Oracle website, then we can trust this particular exe. So I will hit yes. And now the installer is going to unpack and you might get a screen like this, which will be an installation wizard for the Java SE development kit 15. Another thing which before I proceed, I just wanted to highlight that as well that you might have noticed the word JDK here. It's exactly the same term which we covered in the last lecture that when you install Java, you basically install the JDK, which is the Java development kit. And this is also visible here when it says Java SE development kit 15. So let's hit next. Then on this particular page, you have the option to change the installation location of Java if you want to. By default, it is going to install in C program files slash Java slash JDK 15. But if you want to change the location and you want to install Java to a particular custom location of your choice, that is also possible. You just hit change here and then you can choose whatever directory or folder or place you want to install this uh, Java on and you can uh, basically select the appropriate location. For this particular case, I don't want to change that. I'm happy with the default location which is available here. So I'm just going to proceed with this particular location here. So I'll, I will just hit next and then Java is going to install and it's it's very fast installation. It generally takes few seconds as you will see in this demo. 
basically it is going to unpack all the all the libraries and all the runtime libraries and all the class path libraries which we discussed in the previous lecture and put all that into the location which we specified to install java it will also set up the rest of the prerequisites which are required to run java successfully so looks like the java has been successfully installed as is visible in this message and there's also a next step if you want to uh, access the tutorials or the api documentations the developer guides the release notes etc i don't want to do that so i will just hit close here and now if we want to just verify if java is uh, is installed or not then we can in, uh, verify that from the command line prompt let me just exit this and let's go to the command prompt to verify to see if java has been successfully installed so to do that uh, we'll we'll just open the search bar and we'll type cmd it is going to show us this command prompt here we'll click on this and it will open the command prompt for you like it has opened for me and there you just need to type java hyphen version and you hit enter if you get a message like this it means java has been successfully installed if you get a message saying that java is not recognized as a command it means that java is still not successfully installed and something has gone wrong in your installation and in that case you might want to restart you might want to go back and reinstall this java exe again so in this case it looks like it has been successfully installed and we can also get some interesting information from here we can see which version of java has been installed it says java version 15 we can also see that the jre is also installed the java se runtime environment or jre is also installed and we can also see that the jvm is also installed which is java hotspot server vm vm means the virtual machine so if i connect this back to the previous lecture we can see that uh, the, the java jdk basically installed the jre as well as the jvm as well and the complete java package has been successfully installed now we are ready to use java uh, a java program and run java programs on this machine and at this step i would like to conclude this lecture in the next session we will be discussing how we can install eclipse because that would be the natural next step for any java developer that they want to install java and then they want to install eclipse and start working if you enjoyed this video a thumbs up would be massively appreciated and don't forget to subscribe to simply code for more programming related videos thank you and we'll meet again in the next lecture